And I also believe that God will preserve his servant, Apostle Aaron Melsai. Yes. I believe the prayers we prayed. Nothing will happen to his life. There may be attempts, but he will be preserved. And we use him to connect to other genuine servants of God. And we also pray that those who are fake and false pastors masquerading around as though they are genuine servants of God will be exposed in this season. Yeah. You don't like that prayer? Yeah. Yes. So God will preserve Apostle Arame, okay? Uh, there may be attempts, but he'll be preserved. And just now when we're praying, I had a vision of him standing in the White House. You know White House? Where is White House for you? You know White House? Where is White House? Uh -huh. We are in US. Eh? Some of you are just looking at me. Washington, D.C. Amen. Yeah, I saw him standing there just now while we we're praying. And he was wearing white suit. I, I believe that represents righteousness that God is bringing into the seat of power. Many things will happen in America between now and November. The ones I can say, I will say. The ones I can't say, I will keep quiet. The ones I see and will not say, I will keep quiet. Amen? Mm. And then I saw him standing with politicians. So, something great is going to happen this season. Nothing will happen to him. Are you hearing me? Um, and just so that you know, nobody from his camp has reached out to me. Are you hearing me? And I'm not doing this because I'm looking for no. We are from different tribes, okay? Uh, so, it's not a stunt. If you do ministry in the Northeast with all this insurgency and all... <laughs> and you are still fake then you are you, it's either you are the devil's cousin or you are the devil himself are you hearing me the terrain of our locality will not allow you to be fake and be fake for long are you hearing me uh, so you are not looking at uh, no. god has his own way of lifting us in his time can we get to the word now all right